Hello and welcome back to another Dark Tide guide here on Broadside Gaming with me, Zug. So this is an updated Zealot guide, and as you can probably guess, it's the Brutal Momentum build that has been floating around. And what is the Brutal Momentum build, you ask? Well, it is this. Ignore enemy hit mass for 1.5 seconds on weak spot kill. And... This thing is just absolutely stupid at the moment. So basically, the brutal, the brutal momentum lets you just go crazy cleaving. You end up just wading into a horde, and once you've got that rolling, you start hitting everything on your screen. And as you hit more things, you'll be hitting the face of everything else, which will keep procking it and procking it. Uh, I got quite lucky here and got Decimator as well. So the more I swing, I get 8% power, stacks up 5 times, so 40% power, full stacks. Uh, the roll of the weapon isn't great. As you can see here, it's only um, a 329, and Brutal Momentum's only a tier 1. So it's it's not the greatest version, but it's pretty damn good, and I've been doing Damnation with it, and it works quite well. Oh goody, the game's being buggy as fuck. So uh, the axes you're going to want to look at this on, is the uh, Antax Combat Axe or the Rashad as they have the exact same attack patterns. So this one at the moment uh, I'm leveling up so I'm going to try and push this to uh, Transcendent this evening. As you can see it does more damage and it just has it's just got a better roll on it. Hopefully the second blessing that drops is not going to be absolutely dog shit but yeah so, so a quick look at how it works. So you'll be running in. You just aim for the face, and then you start just absolutely decimating the cleave. You're not going to be uh, one-shotting like black armored stuff. Oh, you might be. Depends how lucky you get. But yeah. I mean, I've tested this out on Damnation quite a lot, and it works really well. So I'll show you again what I'm using on it. Uh, so I rolled two pretty bad perks on it. So I decided to keep the damage to Infested. The other one was just dog shit. But apparently 10% um, melee weak spot damage is one of the best you can get on this because to proc brutal momentum, you need to be hitting the weak spots. And when you do hit the weak spots, you'll be hitting all the weak spots. So this is basically just a 10% bump across the board for everything. So the feats I'm using with this, I'm using enemies within, enemies without, because you're going to be in the middle of everything at all times. Uh, retribution. I'm still hit and miss on this one because it does require you to play quite sketchily. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's not a huge crit chance on this build, so I don't know if the bloodletting would be better, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll test some more. Benediction. I'm using. Um, just better, really. Uh, I am using Holy Revenant because, and I didn't like this ability, but with this axe and the build if you sprint into a group and you find your i don't know you're, you're still getting shot and overwhelmed and they basically just wipe you out with this build and just keep swinging you can fully heal yourself back up again and you just straight back into it so this does actually work quite well with this setup i would never advise this talent without it without this setup it's a bit crap i would usually go for Thy wrath be swift. Go for this. Holy Revenant. And then Rising Conviction. Just a no brainer, really. This one requires you to play too low, in my opinion. If you're taking increased range damage, I don't know why. It, unless you wanted to go full flamethrower, but then 
why are you playing a zealot? To be honest. And then purge the wicked just because you get two charges of it. But I say that, I'm not slamming the flamethrower. Because as you can see here, I do have an almost perfectly rolled flamethrower. Almost. I need to tweak the blessings a little bit when that becomes available. But I think it's an absolute godsend. I mean, even on Damnation, this thing will kill anything up to a Bulwark and a Crusher. So the only things this, th this thing won't wipe out are Bulwarks and Crushers. Everything else stuck inside of a horde, coming down a hallway, this will thrash the shit out of them. And I know I've seen all the fucking arguments online. So, oh, the flamethrower's rubbish because you can't snipe the snipers. Yeah, well, there's four, there's there's three other people on the team. That's, that's their problem. Or, or, and I'm being crazy here. Close the gap on the sniper and cut his face off. You know. But yeah, the flamethrower. It's, it's I will always say it's superior to the bolter. The bolter's only job that it's good at is dealing with crushers and bulwarks and bulwarks because you can just unload into them and they're done. So they can do one thing. And yeah, you might be able to snipe a sniper back with it, but it's a fucking bolter, they're not that accurate. But with a flamethrower, you can horde clear. I mean seriously hoard clear with this but if it's not your thing it's not your thing I swear by him I don't know if you can even see my so I've tried shotguns sorry it's really late shotguns bolters braced auto guns headhunter guns more braced auto guns last rifles this is endless and I always come back to the flamethrower just because it's just better. You know, and it rolled pretty goddamn well. You know, 80 is the is the max you can get on any of these at the moment. So I mean, I don't think it could have rolled much better unless it dropped some mobility and pushed cloud radius up to 80 and burn up to 80. But that's just, you know, me nitpicking. But anyway, but the point of this build is the axe. So you want brutal momentum and then hopefully a second decent blessing. I'm not going to bother showing you my... Actually, I'll show you the curios, but they're like bare bones, kind of all right. They're not great. It's just toughness, toughness to regeneration, toughness, toughness. Wounds, toughness, max health. Like, it's the bare minimum I could do with them before I just lost interest rolling on that fucking refining pachinko machine. But anyway... It's completely beside the point. So this build is knocking around and I would strongly suggest giving it a try before they nerf it because no doubt they will because people are having fun of it. And let's just pray they um, make Thunder Hammers and Eviscerators good. Like, actually good. Because they're fun. And the axe, to be honest, it's just it's a fucking boring weapon. But it works. So, you know, jump on what works at the moment. You will find yourself a lot tougher using this than you did before. I guarantee you. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to Ramble, folks. Or oh, listening to me ramble. Uh, if you've enjoyed, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. And if you have any counterpoints or you think you, you know you think something's wrong or you don't like my idea on something, feel free to say. You know, we discuss it in the comments. But yeah, until uh, until next time, folks. Have a good one. Happy holidays, and I shall see you all next time.